Hey, what's up? This is your girl, Diamond. So today we are going to talk about a very race-specific subject. Um, let me start off by saying this. Boom. This is a paper bag. Let me put up against my skin. Mm-hmm. Which one is lighter? My skin or a paper bag? Kind of my skin, maybe. Depends. When you get closer to here, it might be the shadow, but I don't know. One of them is lighter, one of them is darker. Apparently, years ago, back in the 30s and the 40s, 20s, and previous, be, and be prior to that, I'm sorry, um, me being lighter than this paper bag would give me access to certain privileges in society. In 2011, and any of the time that I've been on this earth, it hasn't, this, for me, in my personal perspective, this has not given me any privileges. It may have back then, but in 2011, and any other time that I have been on this earth, <laughs> it has not. I just saw a video that was a preview of a documentary. It is called Dark Girls. And I watched the video. And I'm very sensitive to race issues because I'm African American, okay? So, I was watching this. And at first, I was like, oh, they're going to do a, a riveting video about, um, you know, the, the discrimination that comes with skin color. And so, I'm watching... And immediately, they play on your emotions, you know, and start telling stories that they have been through, like name calling and da 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 da. da. And as as they go on, I started to I started to remember things that happened to me that were the the exact same situations, except the issue was I was light skinned. They were giving stories about how they were teased and called names, called Blackie, and um, you was left in the oven too long, um, and other, um, you know, just name calls. And I remember people used to call me Casper. They used to call me Half Breeds. They used to call me Piss Color, High Yellow, um, and all kinds of names. I also remember I was never black enough. Like for some reason, because I was light skinned, I couldn't understand the black experience. People, anytime, anytime I would have an experience to share, people would say, and this is even to this day, my friends, they will say something like, oh, you don't understand because you're light skinned. Oh, you don't have to deal with what we deal with because you're light skinned. Um, I just it was it was to, it was to a point where I just wasn't black enough because I was light skinned. When I was younger, my mom used to make fun of my lips. I have very full lips. So when I was younger, I would be I would do the Sealy thing. You know, if you're Sealy from Color Purple, when she would smile. You know, cover up my mouth because she made me self-conscious about my lips. Any pictures of me when I was younger would be like this. Everything that they were talking about in the documentary, I was thinking like, I've been through this and I had insecurities about my skin. You know, as well. For some reason, they felt that because of my skin color... It exempt me from some kind of perils of being black. And I thought I always thought that that was silly because, in my experience, I've had men come to me and say, oh, you're pretty for a light-skinned girl. And I'm like, what? You never saw pretty light-skinned girls? I know pretty women of all colors. You know, in my mind, that's I'm like, what? You sound stupid. I'm still black. Regardless if I'm a light-skinned black person, you still get the same stuff. 
When I go into a store, because I'm a black girl, they still follow me around to see if I'm stealing. Yeah. When I was watching the preview of the documentary, I was like, okay, well, let me make a comment. It wasn't to be dismissive. It was to ask a legitimate question. My question was, why does dark girls always act like they are the only ones with these sort of problems? And like I suspected, nobody came back and answered the question. They just kind of attacked me and basically said exactly what I what I've been saying. They basically feel that because I'm light-skinned, I don't go through anything. So I went through the whole process of explaining all the things that all the girls in the video that were talking about. I explained the same exact scenario that I have been in, where somebody was calling me names based on my skin color. I guess because I'm light-skinned, I'm not supposed to, and you think that the society is, um, is fond of that, I'm not supposed to, t somebody calling me half breed Casper and high yellow piss color, all those negative things is not supposed to hurt my feelings because I'm supposed to think that this, that's fine, you're light skin, it doesn't, you're, you're the pretty thing. I'm supposed to think that and not get my feelings hurt because I could remember a time when I wanted to be darker because my mom was darker, she didn't get all the teasing. From my perspective, as I got older and her talking, let me know she got teased about being dark. Me and the girl went back and forth in the comments, and finally she said, well, you know, you may be right. In my opinion, a lot of times, now, I'm not trying to be dismissive at all, because I know there is a color theme going on. We know that. That's undeniable. But what I also feel is that because there is a color theme, Sometimes dark girls make everything about that. For example, if a light and dark girl is in the car and they're out and a guy comes up to them and he chooses the light skinned girl, the dark skinned girl may say, oh, he just like her because she's light skinned. But then if another guy comes and chooses the dark-skinned girl, she won't say, oh, he just chose me because I'm dark-skinned. She'll say, oh, wow, he chose me over the, over the light-skinned girl. It'll always be, instead of it being an equal playing field, which we are on, you're black, I'm black. You know, some men do prefer dark women. There are men out here who prefer dark women, just like me. I prefer dark men. There are men out here that says, you know, I've, I've, I've ran into them who said, I don't date light-skinned girls. You're pretty, but I don't date light-skinned girls. I date dark-skinned women. Another thing, speaking of the men, men will, men and women, not just men, men and women, when they meet me, what I've always experienced in my whole life, when they meet me and they sit down and have a conversation with me and they get a, a idea of my personality, that I'm down to earth, I'm cool and funny and like to clown and have fun, da 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 This is what they always say. Hmm. You know, you are really cool for a light-skinned girl. I didn't expect you to be like this. I thought you would be stuck up. What? Well, most of the light-skinned girls I know are stuck up. What? If you're a light-skinned man, you are assumed to be weak. You are assumed to be a pretty boy. You are assumed to be... There's this thing that because we are light-skinned, there's this negativity towards us to where... For a long time, I felt like I had to apologize for my light skin. As weird as that sound, I felt like I had to make adjustments and apologize for my light skin because dark people made me feel like something, I don't want to say something was wrong with me, 
But because I had something that I wasn't deserving of. Like, I don't... Like, I had an unfair advantage or a... It just made me feel like I had to apologize for it. I couldn't be too confident with people because if I was confident, people would, that would go along with the, uh, oh, she thinks she all that personality. If I be, it, 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 it's just really strange and I can't explain it. I can't explain the, all the dynamics that come along with it, but I feel like, you know, I felt like I had to apologize for being light-skinned, and I did not. And I shouldn't have to feel that way. But at times, that's how I feel about it. Everything, and, and I only get it for dark people. I only get it from dark people. I only get it from them. Only. I've never, a white person has never said, oh, I like you more because you're light. Or I'm cool with you more. They treated me like a black girl because I was the black girl. When I worked at um, Bath and Body Works and I was the only black girl that worked there, they still treated me like a black girl. When they saw me uh, come in, I know y'all done dealt with white people who as soon as they come, they get some kind of ghetto twang that they talk to you in. Yeah, girlfriend. Mm-hmm. I don't know if y'all have experienced it, but a lot of times white people, when they talk to you and they know you're black they try to talk to you in urban dialect you know and they say stuff like girlfriend mm -hmm. yeah girlfriend where when they talk to their white friends they're yeah do 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 but they try to talk to you like you Keisha from the hood and you like what why are you talking like that it's 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 and I try to explain to my darker friends that we are treated the same way and this is in my experience now. Somebody may say, ooh, I'm light-skinned, so I get all the privileges in the world. I haven't got those privileges. They still treat me like a black girl. It's up to us to teach our children that there is no divide between dark and light. We have to teach our children. If you're a light-skinned woman, teach your children that light skin and dark skin is beautiful. If you're a dark-skinned woman, the same thing. You have to... I don't understand. It makes no sense to me how I hear a dark person say, Oh, I can't wear that color. I'm too dark for that. And it's something that I've seen a dark woman wear, and it was beautiful on her. Oh, I can't wear yellow. I'm too dark for that. What? We have to get out of that mentality. Oh, I don't want to have any, um, I don't want to have babies by a dark skinned man because I don't want a dark skinned baby. Only person I've ever heard say that was a dark skinned woman. I think it starts from the inside. I think it starts from your mother, your father, your parents instilling in you those values to appreciate all colors, all everything. And stop making it, making it when you, and stop making the divide. Stop perpetuating the divide. Anyway, this is a very deep topic and I have so much to say about it, but I, the video is already too long. So, um, comment, share your thoughts, and tell me what you think. This is your girl, Diamond. Have a good day.